In continuation of our machine learning track, uh, Anatoly Starostin from Yandex Plus Fantech is about to tell us about machine learning applications in audio and video services. Anatoly, welcome on stage. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, you hear me well? Okay. So, uh, hello everyone. My name is Anatoly Starostin and I'm here to tell you about what technologies we do in Yandex Media Services and how often we have to use machine learning uh, or crowdsourcing and or crowdsourcing. Spoiler, we do it quite often. Uh, so, you may ask, uh, what is it, Media Services? Uh, the answer is quite simple. These are s services that provide access to media content that is audio, uh, music, podcasts, audio books, and video, TV series, cartoons, sports broadcasts, etc. Uh, the two main such services in the Yandex ecosystem are Yandex Music and Kinopoisk. You can also watch videos and listen to the music using Yandex Station or Yandex TV, but they cannot be considered as independent media services. They're more like very specific surface where Yandex Music and Kinopoisk are represented. Uh, by the way, uh, inside our company there is a rebranding going on. Nowadays they stopped using phrase media services. Instead we must use new term fun tech. Uh, you may have noted this word on the title slide. Uh, I chose this icon because it's something. <laughs> it is not official icon. <laughs> Fantech. Um, it's the idea is that our main goal is not just to provide the media content to the user, but to please him with it, to bring him fun. So yeah, this talk is about using machine learning in Fantech, using machine learning to bring fun to the people. Something like this. Uh, I think that in the future you will see this uh, brand uh, in public. Now it's uh, on in the early stage. Uh, so, what I want to say, in the context of the machine learning talks here on High Load, I will look a bit like Ugly Duckling, because uh, my talk is an overview. I'm not digging deep in any met method or approach. My goal is to show you the bigger picture. Besides of simply impress you with many interesting things uh, that are under the hood of media services, I want to show you an example of how fundamental approaches and methods may form applied technologies, which in turn become the basis of product services. I am deeply convinced uh, that reliance on machine learning technologies and crowdsourcing is a very important attribute of a successful modern service. Yandex Media Services is a good illustration of the success of a long-term strategy in which technology has a significant place. I want to especially emphasize th the word long-term. Everything that you will see today was done for a long time in parallel with the growth of services. And it was the fact that the technological stream was formed from the very beginning that led to the fact that uh, at the right time the technologies necessary for the product success were ready to use. So. Uh, this is an introduction. Let's dive into it. And I have tried to select a variety of examples. Um, I apologize in advance to my team that not everything we do will be mentioned. It is physically impossible to tell everything in half an hour. Okay. So, first and very important uh, part of uh, media services uh, is personalization. Mm. This is a very large topic, and several reports could easily be devoted to it. Actually, there is a lot of uh, big world conferences about um, uh, content personalization. So here, I will just touch a few uh, moments. And uh, it is clear that today it is already impossible to imagine a music service without personalization. Over the years, we have managed not only to develop and implement cutting-edge recommendation algorithms, but uh, that is no less important, we 
fine-tune the process of constant work on the quality of recommendations. We have a large team dedicated to the media content personalization, increasing and increasing the quality of content personalization is their everyday duty. Uh, this slide shows the main fundamental approaches that we use. It is obviously CutBoost, uh, because CutBoost is everywhere today. Um, a lot uh, about metrics factorization, SVD and IALS is two main uh, concepts that uh, uh, need to be mentioned. And uh, DSSM, uh, it's very important neural network framework. Uh, it actually came from search uh, uh, algorithms, and uh, but Yandex do search, <laughs> so I it was uh, um, quite easy to adapt one thing to another. And um, we use DSSM for ranking uh, recommendations, and it's it works uh, very good. Uh, and uh, um, another thing that m may seem uh, weird here is word to vec uh, why it is here word to vec is something about words uh, but um, actually we are we use text embeddings uh, when we work with lyrics uh, of songs for example but it's not about it the m more important thing is that you can uh, look on the uh, you on the information that we get from users uh, signals uh, i mean the user liked a track um, user skipped track user uh, uh, rewinded track user um, uh, disliked track some uh, all these signals may form uh, uh, s some kind of artificial text and uh, in sa uh, on this text, you can use uh, word to vec methods, and it will work uh, uh, quite nice. Uh, and uh, another thing that I want to mention here is uh, so-called long, long tail problem. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you have heard of it uh, f uh, in the search domain. You know, uh, there is a lot of documents that uh, are not very frequent, um, uh, a lot of qu queries, not documents, a lot of queries. And uh, um, uh, in, in the media library, in the music library, you have the same situation. You have a lot of tracks that are popular, but not very lot. Uh, uh, and much more tracks that form this long tail, uh, tracks that are not listened very uh, frequently. Uh, but inside this long tail, there is really good music. Uh, you can find it there. Uh, it is not all bad. It just didn't become famous for some reason. And so this is the way you can uh, expand your active catalog. Active that uh, uh, means uh, the part of catalog that will be listened. Uh, and th the m it will increase diversity, and uh, diversity is always good. And if you know how to do it without uh, damaging main me metrics uh, of the service, uh, like total listening time or something, uh, you are good, uh, you are successful. Uh, and uh, we managed to do it, we managed to uh, use DSSM framework, and we train special model on mm, special subset of our users that we called expert users. Expert, uh, and uh, these users actually don't know that they are experts. Uh, uh, th they are just uh, uh, people who, for some reasons, listens to rare music some musical experts. And after we trained uh, our model on these uh, people, we were able to increase diversity, to expand our cat active part of our catalog, and, uh, and we did not damage main metrics. It was a very nice uh, implementation, I don't know, maybe four months ago. Uh, uh, and uh, here you can see our main metric, LSPU, I will not go deep uh, into it. What is it? 
uh, it's some com metric combining total listening time and diversity and all things, so it's the main metric. And you can see that we're, we're really <laughs> going up uh, the f through uh, the last year. And I it is very impressive results from our recommendation teams. And, and the last example of where personalization is uh, important not so obvious example, uh, that's why I uh, placed it here. You see the second picture, it's uh, search. Uh, when you want to search for the music inside the application. Uh, and uh, I this screenshot is from mobile, uh, but you have the same situation in smart TV with remote controls. And it's very painful there because it's button after button, very slow. So it is super important to be able to show uh, to the users some results after pressing even first uh, letter. First, second, third. And uh, uh, as you can imagine, there are, there are million tracks starting with some uh, specific letter. And you need to rank this uh, 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 output. And uh, you can use recommendation and personalization algorithm for, for this. And th uh, that's where search and recommendation meets, uh, meet each other. And uh, it was very hard to implement it uh, technologically because it's very big data, everything must be prepared in advance and, and, and so on. But uh, after we did it, uh, our users said, uh, Thank you to us. It's uh, really important. So enough about uh, personalization. Uh, let's go further. Uh, another important uh, part of our job in media services is um, uh, raw audio analysis, I would say. Uh, a different uh, uh, different neural networks that cluster audio fragments in one way or another, revealing some complex invariants like genre similarity, melody similarity, complete simil similarity considering noise and distortion. Uh, these all seem to be a promising direction of research from the very beginning. And uh, today, uh, these special audio embeddings that, that we can uh, extract from these neural networks they uh, already they are already used in production. We use these uh, embeddings uh, to improve uh, recommendation, uh, and uh, uh, also long tail problem is very co it, it is connected with this because if uh, you don't know much about the track, it's good idea to uh, make some neural network to listen to it. Uh, and, and that means uh, to form the embedding uh, from the raw audio. So uh, it is connected one uh, to each other. Uh, um, and uh, uh, another thing uh, is our own uh, music recognition engine, yet another music recognition. It's uh, like Shazam, but it's not like Shazam. Uh, it's more complex uh, inside, and uh, we use it uh, directly in the application. You, you can see uh, the left screenshot from the Yandex Music, and this identify button. Uh, you, will, you press it, uh, app will listen to, fr fr uh, to the environment and uh, uh, try to guess what track I is it. Uh, and uh, another example of uh, using of uh, the same technology uh, is our music deep dive project. Uh, it is project uh, not about Yandex Music, it's more about Kinopoisk. But uh, uh, actually it's about both, because we tried to link Kinopoisk library with Yandex Music library. Uh, link how? Uh, link through audio track. Uh, so we w want uh, to give our users uh, ability to pause track, uh, to pause movie in every 
in each place, in every place, and to know what is what song is uh, right now in the background. Uh, and uh, here you can see an example from the West World, and uh, it's not very. Mm, I don't know. Can you see it or not? But uh, here is main theme from uh, West World, and we we really found this track in the music library and li linked one to. Uh, it w it's not so easy uh, as it may seem because uh, uh, there is a lot of problems. Uh, there is a lot of noise over the music in the movies. Some tracks are stretched, some tracks are uh, uh, compressed, and um, some tracks are absent in our library and all these things. And But requirements for this task are very high. You must be very accurate because uh, end users will get the results. It's not something internal. It's the thing you will you are showing to the final users. And uh, that's the reason that we decided that uh, over our uh, algorithms we will use crowdsourcing. So that's the first time I mentioned crowdsourcing today. Um, and here we uh, implemented a pipeline using Yandex Teloka and not only Yandex Teloka, uh, where people can verify the information that we uh, 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 have generated automatically. And after it, only after this verification, we show it to the people. So uh, it's an important thing. Uh, we have even a joke in our team. Uh, it's hard to translate it. Uh, into English, but I'll try to explain. We say that machine learning is uh, not only machine learning, but also many people, because many people in Russian is Monoga Ludi, uh, ML. So uh, machine learning is Monoga Ludi. Uh, and uh, mm, I really do believe that uh, in some cases uh, uh, you need to use hybrid approaches. Uh, if you uh, want to do something really useful, then uh, start with machine learning and finish with uh, many people. Uh, and uh, this is an example of uh, such situation. Uh, okay, <coughs> next thing, music shots. What is music shots and where you can uh, hear them? Uh, music shor shots is short, are sho short phrases that Alice voice assistant is able to say before some music is playing. So it's like an introduction. It's like a DJ on radio. And there is such a thing, Alice Show. And you can s uh, listen to Alice Show in using Yandex Station. Um, where it's some, some kind of automatic radio. You, uh, there are music, there are news, there are podcasts. Everything is mixed. Uh, and um, mm, before tracks, uh, Alice is saying something about this track. So the task was to generate many different human-like phrases describing the song. It's quite interesting. Uh, and, uh, and first approach for this task was uh, completely crowdsourcing, uh, uh, without any machine learning at all. Uh, we decided that we will parse Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia and websites like 50 Facts About Madonna and generate some kind of raw text, uh, raw text info. Then we will filter it using Toloka, then we uh, will call special people uh, that, th that are a little better than uh, um, ordinary talkers uh, that are able to, um, they're like editors. Uh, so here I call it assessors, but they know language and they can rewrite uh, raw info into the phrase on behalf of Alice. They do it, they check uh, after each other, uh, and after it, we can start to launch TTS engine. TTS is text-to-speech, and we do it automatically. Then 
the lockers will listen to it because text to speech is not uh, very good and they and they will rate it and uh, uh, audios that were uh, high rated will go to production and uh, uh, other audios will uh, mm, uh, get the second chance of because we can tweak a little uh, s uh, the source text and the uh, second uh, text generation, uh, audio generation will be better. Uh, okay, so it's quite complex, but uh, it worked. We generated, um, uh, I don't know, maybe 100,000 of uh, shots, some something big. Uh, uh, and uh, it is, and we linked it to real music, and it it sounds like magic. It sounds like Alice knows what's uh, what is going on in the music world. Um, right now, uh, it it was long ago. It was about three years ago, and uh, after it, uh, the GPT three uh, appeared. Uh, everywhere and everybody started to, to talk about uh, large text models and uh, I asked uh, my team maybe we can use it maybe we can uh, try to extract uh, raw info automatically using GPT or maybe we can uh, maybe we can do this rewriting task using, using GPT I, I, it's it's uh, the exact thing that GPT must do uh and we tried it uh and it really works uh i'm i'm not saying that it is in production now but uh experiments are successful uh mm, and here i'm just uh, showing t a few examples there in russian sorry uh but uh, it's uh, it's funny and uh in the um, bottom left corner you can see bala boba it's uh, you have mm, you may have heard about it. It's a, a large text model of Yandex uh, that we that has gone public, uh, and we use the same model but the internal version of it. Um, so here you can see how it can understand the uh, main idea of the song. It's some song about some robot who watched uh, Windows in New York and uh, uh, he had listened to all uh, the music in the world or something. Uh, and, uh, and after it, he started to uh, generate uh, lyrics. Uh, that's what uh, in the text. And uh, on the right, you can see that uh, GPT understood that it's something about robot who really loved poetry. Uh, and uh, this phrase is automatically generated. Uh, and uh, these two phrases is um, an example of automatically generated facts from the Wikipedia. Uh, and it's really true, and, it, uh, and it's not uh, exact quotes. It's, it's, re it's rewritten by the, uh, the GPT, and it's, it works uh, really well now. So uh, that's the example where uh, large text models may be used um, in the uh, world of media services. Um, another interesting task. Uh, uh, it is called actor deep dive uh, inside our uh, team. Uh, th uh, before you have uh, heard about music deep dive and it's actor deep dive. Uh, so it's about recognizing actors I in the movies. Uh, uh, f I the task is the same. A user uh, presses pause and uh, if uh, the face is uh, on the screen, uh, Kinopoisk must uh describe what is uh, w what the act what is the actor uh, his name his uh, uh short uh, small photo you see on the right mm, in, in screenshot uh very interesting task uh you can think of it but they just recognized faces it's easy everybody can recognize faces today um but uh, if you want to do it good, and if you uh, want to achieve uh, really good quality, you have to uh, recognize faces on every frame. 
And on some frames, uh, actors just do like this. Uh, and uh, uh, it's normal. Uh, and, uh, uh, and after the second, they turn back again. Uh, so, uh, mm, and if user will press pause uh, at, at the same, at, th at this uh, exact moment when uh, actor is not looking into the camera, uh, you must uh, sh uh, uh, give him the correct answer. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's still the same person. Uh, so uh, mm, when we started to dig inside uh, this task, uh, we came up with complex pipeline where we must track figures, where we must uh, uh, detect faces, where we must match figures and faces. And uh, after it, we must uh, verify all this with crowd because n nothing of this works 100% uh, good. Uh, uh, neural uh, approaches that we use are listed uh, uh, at the top on the left. It's quite standard uh, today. Like faster RCNN is really deprecated now. There is more modern approach, but we use this and uh, it's okay. Retina face, ResNet, it's uh, very famous approaches. You can uh, Google it, you can, uh, it's outsourced, you can use it. So, uh, welcome. Um, but mm, if you, you try to solve such a big task like I described, you will have to build complex pipeline with crowd verification and uh, all, all this. Uh, and uh, I think that's all about it. Let's go further. Uh, fervor is many more actually. Uh, I uh, thought that I don't have much time, uh, so I even uh, didn't try to prepare separate slides about each uh, direction. I will just give some comments. Uh, music generation. We started to do music generation about f two years ago and uh, this summer we have launched uh, Neural Music uh, and it's special um, music uh, that is uh, generated completely automatically and but it is uh, mm, there is special intent uh, that we are trying to uh, uh, approach uh, with this music special intent of relaxing, relaxing or focusing. So it's special music that helps you to relax or focus. Um, it's, uh, so we do not generate, uh, I don't know, um, uh, music for dancing or something like this. It's all about uh, chilling, about something that will help you to concentrate. Uh, and this music uh, inside, uh, it's um, you can Google it, uh, you can listen to it inside um, Yandex Music application. Um, uh, just a few words about how we did it. Um, we decided uh, to go hybrid approach, uh, to use hybrid approach. Uh, we, from one side, we used classic algorithms. We, uh, there was a special guy in our team who hel helped us with um, music patterns, with, uh, he drew special tables about how music is, must be constructed. Uh, and he, he did a lo lot of handwork. He was an expert in music. So it was the f one part. Uh, and uh, Obviously, there was a programmer who interacted with this guy, and th they did this uh, algorithmic part together. And another part was uh, about neural networks. Uh, we um, uh, we came, came up with the idea that we will not have enough melodies in our music. Uh, it's we cannot do it by hand. It's too uh, it's too complex. It's it's it, it will take too much time, and we uh, developed uh, a special neural network that is generating melodies for us. So 
this neural music is music that has some uh, algorithmic skeleton, some algorithmic uh, uh, base uh, on top of which uh, of which you have neural melodies. Uh, listen to it; it's interesting. So, not everything. It's not generation of music with only neural networks. It's hybrid. Uh, why we did, did we do s in, uh, s uh, such? Uh, because um, we understood that we want our users to have good quality of music in their ears. We, uh, we want to be able to solve uh, different sound problems, mixing problems. There is a lot of things about music that um, mm, th science doesn't care about. Uh, because uh, for science it's important to just to generate something that is human-like. Uh, and for us it was important to generate something that people will really listen to. Uh, that's why we chose this approach. Okay, uh, s s second two things are even more innovative and they are not in production right now. But uh, I can say that we uh, really have this stream, this, these streams in our team. Um, one is uh, started already. We do a lot of about AR and VR. Uh, it's, uh, um, uh, first of all, it's, uh, from the scientific point of view, it's 3D reconstruction uh, task. Uh, when you are, uh, when you need to extract 3D structure of the world around you uh, uh, and uh, put it into virtual reality. So we really uh, uh, are digging into this problem, but I can't say more, sorry, uh, because it's, uh, it's uh, our future. Uh, but uh, I can say that right now we are very uh, into um, uh, computer vision and 3D, uh, 3D vision also. Uh, and uh, another part of this is sport video analysis. We already started to do it. It's a very interesting part. Uh, why it is important for media services? Uh, the answer is very easy because uh, we do a lot of sports uh, uh, inside Kinopoisk service. So w w you can see uh, world championship there. You can see a lot of sports uh, content. So we want to be able to automatically analyze it and to do some sport deep dive uh, uh, over this content. Uh, that's what we will do uh, in next year, I, I, I hope so. We started to do it. Uh, so, to finalize, um, what I want to say uh, today. Uh, the main idea of this talk is to show you how many different things are we doing inside media services and also to illustrate how important it is to have a technological stream while uh, you're developing a uh, service that is meant to be successful. Uh, I, I'm sure that in every domain, not only media domain, in every domain, if you start some service, start doing something good for the people, you must s uh, start not only marketing, not only uh, basic development stream, you must start technological stream. In the mm, in parallel with uh, uh, b uh, uh, main development, uh, and uh, we did l like this in media services, and now w we are feeling very good because we uh, we we have we have things that we can provide to our users, uh, uh, and uh, we have some technological. Uh, I forgot the word uh, benefits, but technological benefits. Uh, and uh, so mm, uh, here you can see these three layers, layer of services on top, layer of applied technologies. And that's what we did. Uh, all these uh, blue rectangles are applied technologies. And all these things are standing on fundamental technologies. 
that are usually open source and uh, public. So uh, I'm very glad uh, to be here today. Thank you very much. And uh, I tried to show you this pyramid from fundamental technologies to the service, uh, to the product service uh, through uh, applied technologies. That's what we are doing for, I don't know, maybe four or less years. Uh, so here you are. Uh, questions? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, for those of you watching online, we accept questions in the Telegram chat as well as bot. Please go. So on. thank you very much. That was very interesting. I have actually two questions. And the first one, you have a huge amount of pipelines and heavy models inside of it. And maybe you have some best practices and advice how to optimize your models, how to create the flow of your work so that the your final pipeline in the production will be optimized. And mm -hmm. the second question, how did you decide who are the experts on your Yandex Music service? So. Uh, let's start from the second question. Can you uh, say a little more? What do you mean? Uh, you told about the long tail problem uh -huh. and you told that you chose the subset uh, uh, of experts. Okay, How okay. did you choose who are the experts? Uh, it was done automatically. We just uh, we were searching for the user. It's, it's all completely anonymized uh, and we were searching for the users who are listening to the rare content more than other people. So I it's quite easy. Uh, to do it automatically. Uh, simple math. Okay, about first question. It's hard to mm, give some advices uh, for two reasons. First reason is that everything we do, we do on Yandex technologies. All infrastructure in Yandex is on Yandex technologies. Uh, but uh, sometimes we outsource uh, some, th uh, some of these technologies and uh, like, I don't know, click house or something like this. Um, but, uh, and the second part of the answer will be like this. Uh, it is always a long path. So uh, you are doing a lot of uh, iterations. First, you do something that uh, works uh, somehow it may be slow, it may be inaccurate or something. Then you, are, you must uh, ship it in production as fast as you can uh, sh in, in any way. And then users start to use it and you can g get the feedback. And you can understand what is really important for them and then you start optimizing. So uh, I, don't know, uh, I don't know the way to create something from the first uh, try. I, it's a long way. Um, if you want details, just come to me and we can talk uh, in detail. Okay. A question from online. Uh, can, your, uh, can your algorithm, the face detection of actors, can mm -hmm. it uh, tell Natalie Portman from Kira Knightley? <laughs> uh, if people can do it, then algorithm can people do can't. it. People can't. <laughs> uh, uh, I th I'm sure that there are some mistakes, but um, usually uh, we have hints. We have uh, the thing that is called cast, uh, cast of each uh, movie. So uh, ob usually we know in advance who is playing in uh, uh, in this movie. Uh, the problem is the movie w uh, where they are together. Yeah. If, if you know such movie, uh, tell me, please. There, there's one, Star Wars Episode One. There are two, like, both of them playing the same person, actually. Yes, you're right. <laughs> uh, I will check. Uh, I don't have the answer. I mean, that sounds like a reverse Turing test. If you can detect one from, from another, then you're a robot. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Please. I have many questions. By the way, uh, we award the best question with the prize, so uh, and we have a competition already. Please. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. It was really interesting talk, and um, I have a question about your future, about uh, sport analysis uh, video tool, and I have a question. So maybe you can't uh, <laughs> uh, talk me about it, but uh, anyway. Uh, do you have some plans to use it for uh, so Kinopoisk users 
or do you have some plans to make a separate product for sport teams or like this? Uh, Thank you. I can't answer this, sorry, because we never talk about our plans, uh, our specific plans. Uh, but uh, what I can say is that uh, we are in the very beginning of this stream, so it may we may come in any dir direction. Uh, um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I just started to read art uh, to read art articles about <laughs> <so> this. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, uh, Igor from Tinkoff. Thank you for Anatoly for the deep dive into my favorite products. Uh, <coughs> I, I have more wish than a question, maybe. Okay. Do you have uh, any plans to uh, add translator to Yandex Music to uh, have like lyrics translated into your f uh, preferred language uh, on, a, on a way, on a go? Mm. I didn't uh, uh, hear about uh, such plans. Um, for me, it looks like this is this use case is covered with taking a screenshot of lyrics and using translator. Uh, so uh, um, I didn't hear about such plans, and I think that uh, usually people can do it uh, inside. Uh. Ah, what I can say is um, that in right today in Yandex Music we have dynamic lyrics, lyrics that are already aligned with music, uh, and maybe you are talking about translated yeah, uh, yeah, to lyrics to have that it live are aligned. in your favorite language, ah, like listen okay. to Armenian song and mm -hmm. instantly understand what this song is about. Okay, into uh, uh, I will pass this uh, yes. idea to the team. You may to the will music make team. one user more happy then. Okay, you. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, finally. Uh, I have a question. Thanks for your talk. I have a question about uh, content personalization and especially about music. Uh, of course, we have to recommend uh, some new songs to people who have listened similar songs. And uh, how do you detect uh, that the user has actually listened for a song? Because this is not a surprise that many people listen for some short fragments of a song to decide whether they like it or that they did not. And uh, do you count these uh, small fragments as actually listening to a song? Uh -huh. I can answer like this. Uh, there was a time about uh, two years ago when I uh, led the recommendation team. Right now, another guy is doing it. Uh, at that, So I can answer about two years ago. Okay? Uh, and two years ago, there was an heuristic uh, like if a user uh, has uh, listened for more than one minute, we, we count. Uh, if what happens to songs shorter than one minute? Uh, I think they were igno ignored. But uh, um, it's very easy to answer about two years ago, because today I'm absolutely sure that it is something different inside. Uh, uh, our recommendation team, they ma made such a huge problem progress for the last two years. Uh. Okay, thanks. Uh, the one to the right, I think, was, was before. Yes, you. Yeah, thank you for the talk. Uh, when, you was, when you were talking about the assessors and the information you give the assessors from the trusted sources like Wikipedia or something, uh, do you do some fact checking about it and do you ask assessors to label the information not only based on the language but on s also on the facts uh, that they see yes we did some fact checking but uh, usually we trust wikipedia wikipedia it's not always correct but in most cases facts in Wik wikipedia is s uh, are somehow checked Okay, so you have like a list of trusted sources and you take the information from there? Yes, yes. Okay, like thank you. Like this. <coughs> thank you. Uh, I have a question about actor recognition in movies. What, uh, how do you recognize a face in case of Hulk or any similar like transformed characters? 
Mm. Good what was that the question from uh, from you about Natalie Portman? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's a good question. Um, um, I think, but I'm not hundred percent sure that uh, si face signatures uh, may work correctly with some monsters or something like this. If you uh, um, uh, you must understand that uh, inside this. Oh, uh, I messed up. Just a second. Um, mm, somehow, uh, s somewhere in in this pipeline, there re there is signature calculation. You see, signature is special mm, uh, set of numbers, special vector that characterizes the face. Uh, so uh, these signatures, we count them uh, using the database of actors' photos uh, and we that we, uh, we have it. Uh, it's public, uh, actually. In Kinopoisk, we have a lot of pictures of actors. So if you just add uh, pictures of monsters there, I think algorithm will cope with it. Hot faces, it is just green, but it's face. So like in if in the cast there is Hulk and name of the char uh, character uh, actor, then you will recognize him? I think so, yes. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your talk and for cool idea with work to work. Very obvious, I think. Uh, uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, I'm sure you have a huge data set of feedback and tracks. Uh, and uh, could you provide some information about uh, the way you, you do matrix, matrix factorization uh, as for the do you use some open source uh, or uh, it's in-house uh it's both we have uh, some something from open source then we fine-tuned it a lot uh, and uh, we have some something uh, that is inside Yandex all services are using it. Uh, so uh, actually, if uh, it is important to you, just contact me after, and uh, I'll try to dig it, dig inside it. I, I don't remember. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my question is more about like how to assess all these cool features that are good for us from the business perspective. Were there any like ideas and technologies that you thought that is good, but they failed the alpha phases that because of not showing any like business value? Uh, sure, yes, uh, there were such technologies. I don't want to name it. You don't uh, want to remind people of about your failures, but uh, um, it's uh, it's always uh, it's experimental stuff. So you are trying ideas. There are different ways to try the idea. You can uh, try it inside Yandex. Uh, Yandex is very big, so there is a lot of people. Uh, they will give you a lot of feedback. So first stage is to present uh, the idea inside the company. Uh, after it, you can uh, call for some early adopters and check on them. Then you can uh, give some UX, UX testing and invite people from, from the external world, to ask them to sign NDA and to show it to them. Uh, and then you can launch. You can launch and uh, show your technology to the people. Uh, and sometime you will uh, close something. I, I actually I can't give one example uh, uh, because I, I, uh, today I uh, uh, showed you this Alice show. So it happens that inside um, Alice, uh, inside Yandex station. Alice show is quite popular. Many people uh, w uh, are listening to it in the morning, for example. They, uh, they're saying, Alice, uh, play the show, and uh, the ra radio starts. And inside our product, inside Yandex Music, we had something like Alice show. It was called Playlist with Alice. It was uh, 
playlist uh, before and before each song uh, there was a music shot. And we decided to switch it off because uh, people stopped uh, listening to it. Uh, Ali Show is a cooler name, I think. <laughs> I <laughs> I I I I yes, we think so too. So sometimes the idea uh, uh, transforms. Uh, you start with one and, uh, one and you finish with the other. At this moment, I believe uh, we'll have to take all the subsequent discussions to the coffee area. Okay. Thank you very much. And Thank you. Uh, we need to uh, assign the best question. Okay, so, and I cannot uh, uh, pick one. the one from chat. No, you uh, can't. Only. Uh, and there is no uh, uh, guy here who asked uh, about Natalie Portman. No? No. Oh, okay, no. so. Okay. Uh, Needs to be any other one. All questions were s so good and. Uh, I don't want to offend somebody. Uh, let it be question about Hulk. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you.